Welcome back to PSC's Tech Bytes. Today, we keep on talking about how we can manage guest user accounts in our Microsoft 365 tenants using Power Automate. And specifically, I want to explain you how you can get rid of a guest user account that you invited, for example, using a flow in Power Automate, like I shared with you in the previous episode. In fact, in Microsoft Graph, we can easily update a user account, including the disabling of that user account, using the patching of the user, or we can completely delete a user account, and we can eventually even force or revoke the sign-in sessions for an active user account. All of that can be done using an HTTP request through Microsoft Graph and with open authorization in place from a security point of view. And you will simply need an application registered in Azure Active Directory with user.readwrite.all permission assigned. Of course, we can easily do that in Power Automate using the HTTP action in order to invoke the Graph API and to do what we need in order to manage the guest user accounts. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show how to do that in practice. So, here we have the official documentation page about how we can update a user in Azure Active Directory via Microsoft Graph. And as you can see, in order to do that, from an application level point of view, we need the user.readwrite all permission, for example, as I told you. And we simply need to make a patch request targeting the user's endpoint and providing the unique ID or the user principal name of the user. And in the request body, we can specify the account enable property, which is a Boolean one, and we can set it to false. Or we can completely delete the user, making a delete request still targeting the same endpoint. Or we can even use the revoke sign-in sessions endpoint in order to revoke all of the sign-in sessions for the target user. And again, you can see this is the endpoint followed by slash revoke sign-in session. And still we need the application user read write all permission. That's the reason why in the application that I showed you already in the previous episode, I also granted the user.readwrite.all application permission in order to be able to manage this process. Then we have a list of hypothetical suppliers which are also matching to guest accounts in my SharePoint Online site. And let's assume that I want to disable this supplier04 account, which as you can see here is available in Azure Active Directory as a guest user type, which is right now enabled. So the account is now valid and available. I will do that using a Power Automate flow. Here you can see the Power Automate flow will simply get a trigger when we manually start it from the SharePoint list. We will get the SharePoint item mapping to the uh, selected item in SharePoint Online. We will create the graph user URI, meaning that we are going to uh, make the uh, concatenation of the graph endpoint and the user. Let me show actually the flow in edit mode. So we have the concatenation of the graph endpoint followed by the email address of the guest account. As you can see here, graph mics.com v1. Then we go to users. We replace in the email of the supplier the uh, uh, at with the underscore, sorry, control Z, and then we simply add at the end the name of our tenant so that we are going to build the uh, UPN of the user in this format, as you can see. And then once we have got the URL, we can disable the user, for example, making a patch and providing uh, as the body of type application JSON, the account enable equal false. And of course, we need to configure all of the Azure Active Directory settings, including the client secret, which is defined right here in a variable for the sake of simplicity. And once we disable the user, we also revoke the sign-in sessions, again, using the same URL as before, followed by slash revoke sign-in sessions and still providing in the advanced settings, in the advanced options, the Azure Active Directory open authorization settings, so the client ID, the client secret, all the stuff to make the request with app only. So if I will go back to my supplier and I click on automate and I say disable supplier demo, I can run my flow and I can proceed with the uh, disabling of my 
guest account. So the flow has been executed. If I go back to my flow, I can see in the history that I executed this flow just seven seconds ago. And if I go back here, we can see that we executed it and I can refresh my user account right here. And we can see that now the account is not enabled anymore. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.